For 135 bucks, it better work. Okay, here we are back on the CH-16. I've got about an hour of run time on it. I've been checking the, uh, the head gasket area to make sure that I don't have any leaks. Let me show you. Really doesn't look any different than it did before. We're still, aside from the over liberal amount of copper coat in there, I have seen no external oil leaks. So it, it does look like the time cert repair went pretty well. And um, what I've got now is the replacement ignition coil slash module that takes place of the original two-piece system, which is a coil and a spark advance module as a separate piece. So these two guys are replaced by this. It looks like the kit is designed for the twins. It's the DSAI conversion kit. I assume that's digital spark advance ignition conversion kit. Uh, converts the DSAM to a DSAI. So it gets basically just gets rid of this module down here. We're going to go ahead and uh, install it with the tractor's engine still in the frame, just to make sure that the ignition system works properly. And if it does, we'll do the final assembly on the bench. So the engine will come back out, go back on the bench, all the shrouding will be put on. We'll double check for leaks once it's on the bench. And then we may be looking at a somewhat functional CH again. Let's get started with this. Now it is, um, it does come with directions. There's only three wires now. So these brown and yellow leads were basically the communication between the module or between the uh, coil and the module. Those are no longer used. So basically all you have are three wires that are going to be used. You have a ground, which is the black wire here. The connector is keyed, so you can't put it on wrong. So you got a ground. You have a switched 12 volt source, and then you have a switched uh, kill source, which is basically just connecting this wire back to ground. In the kit, it says, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. You gotta connect your ground lead to this boss on the, on the block. Well, you look at the picture closely. The first thing you see is that the module's sitting straight up and the flywheel's here. So that looks to be shown like on a vertical shaft, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is that the block is different. Um, there is no boss that I can see. There may be one like way down here over by the flywheel, but I'm not going to use it. If this module does work, I'm going to have to extend the ground wire out to somewhere else on the block. For now, I've just got an alligator clip hooked to ground. I'll just hook it up temporarily. The other two wires are already there. So, you don't follow the directions specifically, um, is, is what I'm trying to say. So, let's go ahead and pull this guy off. One of the cool things about the new uh, ignition module is that it doesn't require a specific adjustment for the air gap. It just kind of goes on one way and that's the way it goes, so it's not slotted, it uh, only sits on there one way. Let's move the, yeah, move the magnet out of the way. I never did like these block washers they use from the factory. They're like way bigger than they need to be for the screw. Like. It's just way too big. 
All right, there's that guy. Pop him off there. Bye bye. So it installs um, with this face going towards the block and the connector face coming out like this. So it goes like that. Nothing too fancy. Since this is just temporary, I'm not going to worry about getting the proper washer set up on this. I'm just going to just going to install it as is. Really, we're doing a five-minute test just to make sure it works. I don't want to install this uh, on the bench, get it back in the tractor, and then find out it doesn't work. So. Normally the shroud would be here and you'd have to at least slide the engine forward if not pull it out to get the shroud off, but with no shroud we've got plenty of access to test it out, so that's what we're going to do. If it does work, then when it comes back out I'll clean up the wiring. I've deleted one of the output wires and I need to clean that up. There's a, a double lead in here that doesn't need to be in there. Come on, get started. What's going on? Hmm. Get in there. There it goes. All right. Another, it's a, also got a really long plug lead. Like, that's definitely long enough. Like I said, I think this is a universal kit that's probably designed for the for the twins. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, as an aside, I started working on the single cylinder coolers, uh, the single cylinder command coolers this year. Uh, I was not terribly familiar with them before, just in passing. We gotta look out. There's a. Whew, that's close, isn't it? Um, and uh, they are phased out by Kohler um, and have been for a little while. And replacement parts for them are gonna be getting harder to find. Um, specifically, engine internals like the um, piston and rings. I think they only sell. Standard pistons and rings. They I'd maybe one oversize. They might sell a, a ten thou or whatever the metric equivalent of the ten thou is. Um, but they don't. Uh, yeah, they do not plan on doing anything with the CH. So uh, components like this, like the ignition module. Which I would consider, uh, I would consider pretty much proprietary to the to the engine. I don't think they're going to continue producing these, so it's expensive. This thing was like 130 bucks, so it's not cheap. But let's see if we can. I'm going to rotate the magnet, make sure it doesn't hit. Yeah, we're good. No hittage. Got that torque down. So. I didn't like springing for it, but I have two of these engines, and if the module or coil goes on the other one, it would be nice to know that I have a good one around, especially as expensive as they are. So, the connector's keyed. You can only go on that way. If you try to put it on this way, that little tab will prevent you from putting it on there. And we got that there. Okay, that's on there now. Wrap these up there. And then we got a male and a female here. So the male is red. And yep, that matches what I've got here. So at least they standardized that. Okay, there's our red. Then we got our white for the kill wire. There's the white there. So you're going red to red, white to white. Black goes to ground, so we'll give it a ground. 
there. Okay, uh, let's move the tools off of here. Make sure nothing's gonna. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of close to the flywheel, isn't it? Dude, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we're clear here. I don't think it's gonna hit anything. Let's just maybe wrap it up over here or something. Just keep it out of the way. I don't think anything's gonna hit. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Let's see if it starts. Still a little cold natured. It's kind of fiddly with the choke. It feels like it either gets too much or not enough. Seems to run pretty good though. Let's see if the kill works. I think it, yeah, kill works. Let's try that again. That's new. Typical command. Wants to be shut down at half throttle or better. So, hey, it works.
For 135 bucks, it better work.